The end is nigh, my friends. LEGO Education has just announced that they are officially retiring the Mindstorms EV3. This is a startling announcement that has shocked the LEGO Robotics community. But should we be surprised? And more importantly, what do we do now? What does the future of LEGO Robotics look like? And how do we prepare ourselves for this future? What is up everyone? This is Kyle and you're watching Builder Dude 35, a YouTube channel that aims to teach you everything you've ever wanted to know about LEGO Mindstorms. And if you're new to this channel, I promise I'm not always that dramatic. But today, I get to play news reporter and that's because we have big news. On February 3rd, LEGO Education posted this announcement on their website regarding the fate of the much beloved Mindstorms EV3. And they said that they are going to be retiring the product this year in 2021. The LEGO Education EV3 has already been listed on the Education Shop as retiring soon. As a matter of fact, LEGO Education only plans to sell the EV3 through the end of June 2021. After June 30th, it will no longer be available on the LEGO Education store in the US. However, buyers outside of the US will still be able to purchase the EV3 from vendors for as long as stock is around. When this announcement went ink to paper last week, the online Mindstorms communities were in disbelief. How could LEGO turn its most successful robotics product out to pasture? just like that. But should we really be surprised? Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, there have been tremors leading up to this announcement for a while now. On January 13th, the first organization of Tennessee actually beat LEGO Education to the punch, where they announced that their first organization would be retiring the EV3 for use in competition, starting for the upcoming 2021 FLL season. In their announcement, First of Tennessee celebrates the impact that the EV3 has had, but at the same time, First of Tennessee encourages FLL participants to turn towards the future and embrace Spike Prime as the future of FLL Robotics. But our first canary in the coal mine, so to speak, was back in July of 2020. At that point, if you had gone to the LEGO Shop website and looked at the EV3, you would have seen that the status of the product was updated to retiring soon. And now when you go to the LEGO Shop, it's sold out, meaning you can no longer buy the Mindstorms EV3 retail set from the LEGO shop. Now, of course, I should also mention that there's a little bit of disconnect there. If you didn't already know, the LEGO Group and LEGO Education are actually two different companies. So the LEGO retail set 31313 and the Education EV3 are actually two different EV3 products. And that is your Builder Dude 35 fun fact for the day. Continuing on this thought, the retirement announcement is even less surprising when you consider the EV3 in comparison to its Mindstorms predecessors. The EV3 was launched back in 2013 and it's now the year 2021, which means the EV3 has been around for roughly seven years, which is actually quite a long time for a product like that to run. In comparison, the NXT, which is the EV3's direct predecessor, was launched back in 2006 and it was available until 2013 when the EV3 came out. And if you do the math, the NXT was also around for roughly seven years. Huh. So the truth is, keeping a Mindstorms generation around for seven years is par for the course when you consider the history of Mindstorms. It was only a matter of time before LEGO needed to update the platform. And of course, we all know how the cliche saying goes, all good things must come to an end. Okay, yeah, hi, this is great and all, but uh, what on earth are we supposed to do now? Rest assured that the Mindstorms EV3 will continue to be available for sale on third-party platforms outside of the official LEGO vendors. But if capitalism has taught us anything, it is that a sustained demand and a diminishing supply are a recipe for ridiculous price markups. And we're seeing this already. I'm personally just a little bit worried that this retirement announcement is too short notice for a lot of schools who rely on the LEGO Education EV3 for their curricula. A lot of schools approve their budgets on a yearly basis, and this five month notice for the EV3 cancellation might be too short notice for some schools to adapt. But as the first organization in Tennessee has encouraged us to keep in mind, there are new generations of LEGO robotics on the horizon, and they are LEGO Spike Prime and the LEGO 51515 Robot Inventor, which replaced the LEGO Education EV3 and the Retail EV3, respectively. And maybe we should be embracing these platforms as the next generation of LEGO robotic solutions. And I think now is as good of a segue as any into my own thoughts on the matter. There's absolutely no denying that the EV3 was a fantastic, 
product. It was the Halo product for entry-level robotic solutions for both the classroom and LEGO robotics enthusiasts at home. But we need to be honest with ourselves. The EV3 was not perfect. As great as the EV3 was, we've lived with it for such a long time and grown so attached to it that we kind of view it through rose-tinted glasses, and we seem to be forgetting about some of its flaws and shortcomings. This now leaves the door open with an opportunity for the next generation of LEGO Robotics to make even more strides forward, to improve where the EV3 fell short, and to take the LEGO Robotics brand even further. I've already seen firsthand just how much promise the LEGO Robot Inventor holds. If you want to learn more, check out my review on that platform because it's really quite awesome. And I'm excited to see what we can do with Robot Inventor and Spike Prime in the near future. I know that some people are skeptical of the new LEGO Robotics platforms just because they are so different from the EV3 that came before it. I understand that it's human nature to become so comfortable and so familiar with a product that you love like the EV3, but I really encourage all of you at home to embrace the new generation of LEGO Robotics even if they are a little bit different because that means they can bring new and exciting things to the table that we would have never considered possible with the EV3 before. And if you are really intrigued to see just what's possible with these new robotics, robotics platforms, you're in the right place. You should subscribe to my channel. I don't mean to come off as irreverent towards the EV3. Quite to the contrary, in fact, I have a deep and profound appreciation for what the EV3 has given me. I built this channel on the EV3, and I would even argue that's what got me into MIT. And don't doubt for one second that I will pay proper tribute to the EV3 for all it has given me and the rest of the LEGO Mindstorms community. But in life, there will always come moments where it's time for us to accept that we have to turn something we love out to pasture in order to make way for a newer and brighter future. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on the EV3 retirement. Please leave a comment below with what you think. Thanks so much for watching this video guys and I hope to see you in the next video. Later.